Hi folks, a uh, how-to video to show you how to replace the relay on your ATI dimmable sun power fixture. Step one is going to be to remove the uh, end plate and to remove the screws holding the middle tray in place of the fixture. We're going to remove the end plate on the side of the fixture with the power cord. We're going to remove the uh, hex keys or hex screws on the top as well as the inner side. And then we're going to also remove all the hex screws that run along the edge of both sides of the fixture. There would typically be four to six of those. To do that, all you need is a two millimeter hex key. Now that we've got all the screws removed, what we're gonna go ahead and do is remove the actual power cord from the fixture housing. Before we do that, I'm actually gonna lay some blue tape around the grommet itself, just in case the pair of pliers slips while we're popping the grommet out. Next thing we're gonna do is just take a pair of pliers and we're going to uh, remove the grommet holding the power cord in place. Just go ahead and uh, get in there, squeeze it real good, and then gently kind of wiggle it back and forth, and it should pop right out for you. The next step is going to be removing the fans from the fixture housing. To do that, we're going to remove the two plastic rivets that hold each fan to the housing itself. Before we do that, though, I'm just going to lay some blue tape along the edges of the fan, just in case the tool we're going to use to pop the rivets out slips. Now that we've got our protective blue tape laid down, we're going to take a flat blade, like a razor blade, and we're going to gently slide that in between the fan guard and the plastic rivet itself, and then we're going to gently pry the rivet itself up. Once it gets going a little bit, you can just uh, use your fingers and just pull it right out. Next thing I'm going to do is uh, pull the fan assembly from outside the fixture housing. Once I've got it up, I'm actually going to use a little bit of blue tape and I'm going to mark the actual internal wire that matches up to the black wire with a little bit of blue tape. Once I've got that done, it's just literally a matter of pinching and pulling to get the wires loose. You're going to repeat the same process for the other fans in the fixture. Our next step is going to be to remove the two hex screws that hold the controller to the fixture housing. Again, our two millimeter hex key. After we've got uh, both screws removed, we're gonna go ahead and push the uh, controller inside the housing frame. You need to be really careful to make sure that all five buttons are recessed inside the fixture. You don't want them getting caught on the fixture housing when you open the fixture up or the controller buttons will break. Looks like that's in there pretty good. Our next step is going to be actually to slide the fixture housing apart. While we do that, we need to feed the power cord through into the housing. We also need to make sure that all the wires or none of the wires from the fans or anything else get caught on the inside of the fixture housing or the outside. Next thing we want to do is determine uh, which of the two relays is actually bad. On this particular fixture, uh, we have six bulb channel out and the two bulb channel is actually working. To actually do that, you're going to follow the wires from the relay. We'll start with this one here and you can see the wires going here and they run directly to this one specific ballast. This tells us that this is the relay controlling the two bulb channel. By default then, this would be the relay controlling the other six bulbs and this will be the one we need to replace. Next step is to remove the bad relay. I've already disconnected the uh, three-prong wire from the back of the controller. Next thing I'm gonna do is uh, disconnect the four wires of the relay from the fixture itself. To do that, go ahead and grab a little connector, and then you're also gonna grab the wire that you're gonna remove. And then you're going to twist back and forth with the connector itself, as well as pull out with the wire. You're going to repeat that same process for the red wire, the black wire, and then the brown wire as well. For some folks, the actual relay, the black part of the relay will be uh, glued to the fixture housing. If that's done, you just need to wiggle it back and forth a little bit and it'll break free from the glue. Once you've got it removed, it's, the next step is to place the new relay. Next step is going to be to connect our new relay in place. I'm going to lay it back and down, same place. We're then going to take the bottom brown wire and connect it to the uh, closest uh, brown connector. Just push the wire into the connector. To give it a quick tug, make sure it's making a good connection. 
You're going to repeat that same process with the brown wire, the red wire, and the black wire, matching them up to the uh, same colors on the other side. Then you're also going to uh, take the uh, three-prong connector and connect it back to the back of the controller. Last thing is if your uh, relay was glued to the uh, fixture housing, we do recommend taking a hot glue gun, re-gluing it back down. If you have any connectors that were the same, take a hot glue gun, put a dab down, and glue those back down as well. Next step is to uh, start to gently slide the fixture back together. While you do that, just make sure that none of the wires, none of the components inside the fixture get caught, pinched, or pulled as you slide the two parts together. When you uh, get up to the controller, be extremely careful that the uh, buttons on the controller itself do not get caught up on the side of the fixture housing as they're very fragile and can break off. Next step is going to be uh, to reorient the controller back into position. Again, be real careful with the buttons, they are very fragile. Once you got it in place, you're going to take your uh, two short hex screws and place them back into the right locations. Next step is to uh, reinstall the uh, grommet for the uh, power cord. Just going to wrap it around the power cord. Line it up with the hole there. Go ahead and grab our pair of pliers. Give it a good squeeze. Pop it in place. Next step is to uh, reinstall the fans. First thing though is going to take the uh, wires. We're just going to give the, uh, the bare wires just a quick little twist to bundle them again a little bit. Then we're going to fold them over over the black part of the lead. Going to do the same thing with the red wire. And then we're going to go ahead and connect the uh, black wire back to the uh, one we marked previously with a little bit of blue tape. Just pinch and insert. Repeat the same process with the red wire. Tuck your wires back in place and insert the fan. Next we're going to uh, reinstall the plastic rivets that hold the uh, fans to the fixture housing. It's a two-part rivet. You can take the uh, small part of the rivet and we're going to insert it into the hole. Once you've got it in, take the uh, part of the rivet with the head, you're going to insert it in there. Push it down. Our last step is to reinstall the hex screws that hold the uh, inner tray to the outer housing, as well as the hex screws that hold the end plate to the outer housing. To do that, we need our two millimeter hex key Go ahead and go ahead and uh, install the screw on the end there. With the ones uh, that are going to be installed on the side here, you may need to uh, pull the tray up a little bit to align the hole. Should go in there. Once you got it going, give it obviously a twist, tighten them down. Follow the same process for the other ones along the side. And you're going to do the same thing for the ones here along the edge. That should wrap it up. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to reach us at ATINorthamerica.com.